Jake, thank you. There is a good story to tell for some of the advancements in breast cancer treatment over the last 40 years. According to the American Cancer Society, since 1989, breast cancer deaths dropped by 40 percent. It's meant more women are living longer after diagnosis and treatment, but that is not the case for all women, especially African Americans. Ringing out is how Karen Valentine marked the end of her treatment for stage two breast cancer. She shared her cancer journey on Facebook and with me. It was a great feeling to ring the bell. In front of a fountain where you she know, reflected on how far medicine has come since family. she lost her grandmother to this disease decades ago. Old. My grandmother um, had a double mastectomy and she died from complications after um, having chemotherapy. There's so much that they have done to really make breast cancer not be a death sentence. Despite the gains in research and treatment, black women are 40% more likely to die from breast cancer. Over the last 10 years, the incidence of breast cancer among both black and white women is roughly the same, but um, black and Latino women are 30 to 60% higher risk of having advanced stage disease once diagnosed. Dr. Erica Stringer Reeser is a hematologist oncologist at the O'Neill Comprehensive Cancer Center at UAB. We want to know what we can do about um, decreasing this gap in disparities as it uh, pertains to outcomes. <laughs> Better breast cancer outcomes is what this 5K walk called the Sisters Strut with Brenda's Brown Bosom Buddies is all about. Its founder, Brenda Phillips Hung, is a breast cancer survivor. I know that there are disparities, and I don't know why they exist so terribly in for women of color, but something has to be done. We're trying to do our part. Outreach and access to care are part of the equation. So is adequate screening. When a woman has dense breast tissue, mammograms may not be enough to detect some cancers. I had a mammogram in February of 2019. I was shocked come October of 2019 being diagnosed with cancer. We think one of the reasons is biology. Um, black women are at higher risk of being diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, which tends to be a very aggressive form of breast cancer um, that often uh, affects young women under the age of 40. Other factors include the higher prevalence of high fat diets, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease among black women, as well as stress, specifically something called allostatic loads. So that's the stress in which you grow up in and the stress in your environment in which you live in today. Um, and black women diagnosed with breast cancer have um, allosteric loads 40 to 50 percent higher than um, their Caucasian counterparts. We tend to put so much burden on ourselves to perform and to really get things done. And, you know, our children don't have a legacy if we die. For my grandsons, I wanted to have, I wanted to be here. I want to be here. Karen Valentine, thank you for sharing your story. Women of average risk should begin mammograms at age 40, but women at high risk should talk with their doctors about beginning those baseline mammograms much sooner. Additionally, women with dense breast tissue may require additional screenings, ultrasound or MRI, and women age 45 to 50 again should begin getting those mammograms much more news on breast cancer awareness month on cbs 42.com tonight headstones not properly placed in overgrown lots <laughs>